Hi everyone, welcome back to Mommy News and Reviews. My name is Reagan. Um, I'm up early this morning and I'm a mess, but I got a package last night and I'm really excited about it. And I bought something for my stove, it's a flat top, and I actually saw it on TikTok. And my husband had been telling me for months, like about six or eight months, um, every time we go to the store, he's like, well, do you like those pots and pans? Do you like those? Do you like those? I'm just like, no, I want to find something I really want. I really like because my pots and pans, they're horrible. I've needed new ones for a long time, but I hate pots and pans. And I know that's ridiculous because you need them to cook anything really. So I found something instead and it's a flat top griddle and I hope I didn't make a huge mistake. I like, I hate pots and pans. I, and I hate the cleanup and the washing afterwards. So, and I have to cook all the time. So I was thinking this is perfect. So I hope it is because I dropped a lot on this. <laughs> um, for me, it's a lot. So anyways, I'm going to set it up and I'm going to show it to you. I'm very excited. And then I'm going to make breakfast this morning on it. So excited. Okay. Here is my box. This is what came. It's very heavy. I think the griddle itself is like 30 pounds. So I just have this um, like glass top stove. Real basic. Real, you know, nothing truly special about it. And then this is going to go on top. Okay, so it's on. So you have those spacers. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep it off the stove. Well, the top, cooktop. This is my grease pan. So, so something like that, I guess. And then you're just going to scoop everything into here at the end. And so it's supposed to be easy cleanup. This is, I guess it's got oil on it already. That would make sense. So this is nice and, you know, steel colored right now. Um, it's supposed to turn black, like that ugly black that you see all the time. Like if you have things that require seasoning, um, they usually turn like a different color. Like if you've ever used stoneware from the Pampered Chef, they turn colors. This is going to turn that ugly black and that is going to make this so much better than what it already is going to be. So I really hope this is as good as all the reviews because I am so excited. I cannot wait for this. I mentioned earlier that I got the bundle. That's because I got this flat top cover as well. Um, you don't have to buy this, but um, it was convincing to me. We do have two dogs. They are both indoor and outdoor, primarily indoor dogs. Oh, excuse me, I'm breathing heavy. This was a bit of a workout. Um, this is heavy too. <laughs> Not nearly as heavy as the flat top. Anyways, um, so these grooves fit into the sides here of the flat top. And it's to cover it to keep from dust and dirt and dog hair from getting onto your cooktop when it's not in use. So that's really big for us because, you know, I want it to stay clean, obviously. Because you're not supposed to clean it with, you know, soap. So. And this one here actually... So they had one, I forgot what kind of wood it was, but it was this color with like two stripes of the darker color where my two light stripes are. And so this one here, because my, my, you know, my kitchen's dark, I wanted the darker one. This one actually cost $50 more. So I'm just putting that out there because I was a little surprised when I saw it in the cart and I was like, why did it go up? That's not the price that I had seen, but it's because of this. This was an extra $50 for this wood. It over, this is, see no grooves on this side, it's just flat. What is bothering me about this, I absolutely love it, but that's gonna drive me insane. <laughs> um, I am that kind of a person where little things do bother me, but so far I am extremely happy with this, like 10 out of 10, and I haven't even turned it on yet. It is, it says here that it's made from wood that requires basic regular maintenance to preserve its appearance and prevent damage. That's where this wood oil comes in. This came with my my bundle. Um, so it's, it's to keep it looking nice and fresh and oil it so it doesn't like get, um, not dirty, but like wear and tear. It's supposed to help so it doesn't go downhill, you know, at least so quickly. 
So I'm new to a flat top. I've never used anything like this before. But I am reading all the instructions. Something I found interesting was that it says not never to, like I have four burners. Some of these have five. I have four, which you saw earlier. It says never to just like turn on one or two or three. You have to turn them all on. So that is good to know because I did not know that. And then it also says not to go over 600 degrees and that most stoves will only need about a third of the power to get to 400 degrees or something along those lines. If you do decide to get one of these, definitely read all the instructions for yourself. There's a lot of information in here. Um, it does say to use like a very greasy meal for the first one. So, and they recommend bacon, which is great because I have bacon and I'm doing breakfast on this. So awesome. That'll be the first thing I put on. Um, just stuff like that. Just, so this, like I do have cast iron pans. So this is what they were talking about. The seasoning It's going to look like cast iron. You're not really supposed to clean it like with soaps and stuff. So that's what the flat top scrub is. So if you get like any stuck on food, it gives you instructions on how to make a paste. Um, I'm sure you could probably make something like this yourself. You probably don't have to buy their brand. It came with my, uh, my bundle. So, and something interesting, you might need a, a thing, a, a protective cover for this because of the heat. I did not know that. I didn't get one. I'm just going to go forward with it without getting one. At least for now, if I feel I need one, I can always get one later. But for now, I don't think I really need one. At least I hope I don't. I'll keep going through this and I'm going to, I was stopped here, so I'm going to keep reading it and then I love that it's going to be a quick and easy cleanup. Two minute cleanup. That's my big thing. I told y'all I hate pots and pans because one, I'm really limited because I only have the four burners and then I have to use four pots or four pans and um, then I have to cook, clean them all after I cook and that is it's so frustrating to me. <laughs> I will do dishes all day. I do not want to do pots and pans all day. So anyways, I'm going to finish this and then hopefully get going on it before the kids wake up. Or maybe I'll wait for them. That way they could see it. I don't know. But I'm excited, so I probably won't wait for them. <laughs> I'm going to shut off the fan real quick while I talk to y'all. So I have been letting this preheat on number three. It says to go low for your first couple of times while you're figuring things out. So I did actually start off at a one. Nothing really happened. <laughs> As again, it's like this far off the stove top. So I'm at a three now. Um, I did notice that when I put these down, really nothing happened. And they're all at three, you know. Um, but they're different sizes under here. I think big, little, big, little. I don't even know. Anyways, but when I put these down, they started to sizzle. So, and it says, you know, not to start off too high because you can warp the cooktop. And obviously I don't want to do that. So while it was preheating, I went ahead and put some vegetable oil on it. And I cleaned this stuff and I cleaned the bottles and I'm getting ready, you know. So this is starting and it already looks pretty good. I think I'm going to turn it up to a four though on all of them. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Hopefully that will not be too high, I guess, but it's a learning curve. I've never used these before. And even in the, the thing that I was reading, it says it's a learning curve. So I need to turn my fan back on. Okay. We'll see. Okay. So, so real quick, um, I had turned them all up to five. I realized this side doesn't heat as well as this side does. So I've now turned this side down to about three, three and a half. And this side's still at five because they are heating differently. And it did say in the book that that might happen. So I'm just kind of learning as I go. And it's been really interesting. Um, I probably didn't need to oil the cooktop because look at all this grease. But, um... But yeah, so I'm going it, to, it's working so well and the bacon is coming out like so quick and just ignore it. I still have the box on the floor. I was too excited to put it out yet, but it's perfect. It's cooking it just perfect. This is so awesome. I 
might not have taken enough grease off the griddle for this <laughs> learning curve. Really quick, like less than a minute, I think, for it to look like this. And I did already have to turn it down to a three because it did get really hot really quick. And that one's down to a two now. So uh, I would definitely do the, like the higher things, like bacon and meat over here. When I need like pancakes and eggs over here or something, I would do that. Never get hash browns to come out right. And I bought these, as you saw in my last video, that 1800 plus Costco haul. I've never used these before, so I'm gonna hopefully get them perfect today. Since it's on low heat, it's still on three and two. I left to go nurse my baby for a minute. I was gone about 15 minutes and I came back and I turned it and that's what it looks like. So, um, it is taking a while, but it's on low heat and I've always been horrible at cooking hash browns. So this is actually really good for me. <laughs> I think that's the best looking one I've ever done in my life. So, yeah, it came out perfect y'all. Look at that. Took a little longer than usual because I'm not used to this cooktop. But, I mean, this here even looks raw, but it's fully cooked. It's all the way through. This is so awesome. And it was pretty quick, too. I threw the eggs and the bacon back on the griddle real quick. And just to heat it up. And it was awesome. It's perfect. Okay, so it's off now. And I've already sprayed some water on it. So this is what it looks like. There's, I haven't, this is the water right here that I've scooped into the corner. But I've already scraped it all off, so... I do need it like this. This is just a, uh, like, sorry for that sound, but that's really all you do. And this is gonna stay here. It's still obviously really hot. You can see the water from, the steam from the water. Um, but there's nothing there. I'm not done cleaning it, but, um, so that's really all you do. Just a little bit of water and scoop it through. I made the mistake of trying to get this grease trap out and I pushed it in there, so now I'm gonna have to actually physically lift this to get it out. Um, but I'm learning, and I love this. Okay, so I have cleaned it officially. This is just, this is how it's gonna look. This, it, see, it's gonna turn this color or that color eventually. Um, <clears throat> I did move it over a little bit because I was trying to see under it. Uh, but it looks like nothing got under it. I still have not gotten this out because it is still too hot to um, pick up. So, but this is actually clean. Uh, I know it looks dirty, but it's clean. I've already fully cleaned it. Everything's off of it. There's nothing stuck on it. This is just, it's seasoning. So, um, I highly recommend this. I love this so much. The cleanup was so easy so easy it's amazing i just i still have my dishes to do but i don't have any pots or pans and that's huge for me because i usually take like two or three pans to cook breakfast um because i like to do the eggs at the same time as doing the bacon and if i do hash browns then i need a pan for that i try to cook everything at the same time so i'm constantly having like a ton of pans to do um i did do one whole pound of members mark bacon from sam's and um i really didn't need that much but i i gave you know everybody extra bacon today as i was trying to season it so um i and then i did the bacon first of course and then the eggs because i'm learning um i think i kind of got the hang of it at least for breakfast but we'll see okay so breakfast is done it was amazing it's so easy clean up a breeze i loved it you're not really supposed to boil pots and like water or use pots and pans on this, so I will have to remove it. They do offer a pro series, which I considered getting, but I didn't get. So this one, um, you can't do the, you're not supposed to do pots and pans on. I think they said you could do it in the pro series, but I don't have that one. So if I want to boil water or cook certain things, I will have to remove it. But I think for 99% of it, I'm just going to use the cooktop. And see, it's already dry. I've got my my cover board on, which I think can double as a cutting board, which is even better. And then that's the bacon and eggs left over. The eggs are already dry, so I'll probably just give them to the dogs. 
Um, but um, 10 out of 10, I love it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I am not paid or anything for me giving my opinion on this. I didn't receive any free products. I genuinely, excuse me, genuinely like this. Love it, even. So 10 out of 10, I recommend everybody have one. It's a fantastic. That being said, I do have an affiliate link with them, and it's down below if you do want to get one. Um, so you can check it out. At least go to their website and check it out and see if it's you're interested. I, Like I said, I definitely recommend this. I love it. I'll probably... I used to have one of those new wave, like, kitchen induction countertop things that you just plug in and then you could like cook on like one burner basically but it was electric and I let a friend borrow it and I didn't get it back when she was done with it so I might have to buy a new one but I might do that just in case so I don't have to like take this off every time I want to cook like I don't know macaroni and cheese or something simple <laughs> but I it, I don't know we'll see I generally, we don't even have macaroni and cheese in the house, so it's just a thought, like, in my head. I have kettles, and I have an electric kettle and stuff, so I won't need it to boil water, but I feel like I don't want to take it off every time I need to use one burner. So I might invest in one of those. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful, and um, if you get one, let me know, or if you have one, definitely let me know, and give me some ideas of what to cook with it. I defrosted chicken um, that I'm gonna use, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I'm thinking like it's like a cons grill or like a teppanyaki kind of thing. We'll see. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Bye.